Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We are uh, going through 1 Thessalonians. We're actually getting close to the end of 1 Thessalonians. Um, I invite you to stick around for the next series that we're going to do. Um, the next series we're going to do is a little bit different. Normally, I go through books of the Bible um, and, and verse by verse. This particular series that we're going to do next is um, going to, it's sections of uh, when I was on the Appalachian Trail last week, um, I recorded some episodes on there, and it was lessons learned, and it will tie into Scripture um, that uh, that I learned on the Appalachian Trail in the Smoky Mountains. So I invite you to stick around for that one coming up. Uh, but we need to finish First Thessalonians. Uh, we're looking at chapter 5, and we're getting close to the end, where this is a section here where Paul just... Uh, he, he's talking about the end times, okay? And so you got to keep that in context that he, he talks about uh, the end times, and then he gives these 22 commands. And these 22 commands are really for, um, I'm calling them the 22 commandments to Christians living in the end times, okay? And this is going to be in several parts because there's actually 22 commands. Now, I'm not going to take 22 episodes to cover each uh, command. I'm going to group them them up because they naturally kind of group uh, together and so you're going to see those 22 commands so it's something uh, to take to heart and it like am I doing this or am I not doing this and these are things that Paul said are essential that you need to be doing if you're gonna um, be a thriving Christian in a thriving church in the the last days okay so the this is um, the first one and I'm gonna have these listed out um, on YouTube on, on the show notes thing at the bottom. Okay, so uh, they're not gonna be listed any place else So you need to go to YouTube and on that uh, the notes that I have and and on those notes you can see um, Like what my references are usually from from where I what I study from and stuff like that so if you want to dig deeper into what I'm studying and use some of those references um, then then you're welcome to do that and it's all listed uh, there like uh, one that I listed that's really helpful with this section today is um, J. Vernon McGee's uh, uh, commentary on first and second uh, Thessalonians here uh, so and he's the one that kind of gave me the idea with those uh, 22 commands all right so the first two that I'm going to talk about today is uh, taken from verse 11 of chapter 5 and it's encourage one another and then build each other up all right, so let me read here today. This is um, taken from verse uh, 11 of, of First Thessalonians 5. It says this, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. All right, so the first two are right here. And you got to be paying attention. It's not listed out like the Ten Commandments are, you know, that this is the first command, this is the second command. Paul is just spouting these things off, and he's like, you need to do this, you need to do this. So this first one, let's talk about this. The, the, it says encourage one another it, and build each other up is the second one tied to it. Um, that we as Christians need to be encouraging each other. Um, the opposite of that is discouraging. Uh, one another and well it ties with building each other up so I need to be looking for ways throughout the day to encourage other Christians not not discourage them you know to you know come up hey wow you're a real loser how's come you can't uh, you know fight off that temptation uh, you're always you know yielding to the temptation and you know dealing with lust or whatever rather we should be people that encourage one another and like hey I see you're dealing with that temptation. You know, I've dealt with temptation. And let me sh share some ideas that I that have helped me um, and how God has uh, worked in my life and, and, and so forth. So we need to be looking for ways to encourage one another. And then to build each other up. Okay, and this applies like if you are a part of a team, uh, let's say I'm a part of a soccer team, all right? I, I'm trying to encourage the other players uh, that are on my team um, like hey yeah you can you can score this goal I think I have confidence that you can do it you know and so forth rather than discourage them you know if I tell the guy that you know the um, leading scorer of the team like 
boy, you, you just, what's wrong with you today? You, you're just uh, really terrible. And uh, you can't seem to, you know, hit a, uh, you know, the broadside of a barn uh, with a good soccer kick. And being discouraging like that, it brings the whole team down. What Paul is saying here is things that, that apply to our lives, but then they apply to the whole church, okay? Remember, this letter is written to the Thessalonians, the people, the individual people, but they were people in the church, okay? And this church, if you remember, Paul was there and he started it from nothing, and in three weeks he had a church. So he was, he spent a lot of time teaching, and now he's telling them, hey, you need to be encouraging each other and you need to build each other up, okay? So it doesn't take much explanation beyond that. Look at ways that you can encourage other believers and other ways that you can build other believers up, okay? Uh, a good way to do that is just common discipleship. Look for ways that you can disciple another believer, okay? Someone that's weaker than you, to you come alongside them and, uh, and help them along. And it might be weekly, it might be you know monthly, it might be daily um, that you're um, coming along and discipling that that believer to become a mature uh, follower of Christ. All right, hey, thank you for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue looking at First Thessalonians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.